Hi there and welcome. Let's take a look at how to add a load using your trucking office load planner. Adding a planned load is the first step. In order to complete the process, your load will need to be assigned to a trip. And once assigned, IFTA reporting factors such as miles and expenses will be displayed. But for now, let's focus on adding that load. From your dashboard, there are two ways to access the Load Planner page. The first is the Add Planned Load page button here. This takes you directly to the Load Planner page where you'll enter the details of your load, such as customer name and shipper. But we'll get back to this later. The second way to add a load is to access the Load Planner. From here, you can either add a planned load or add a load for the very first time. Each of these options will usher you to the Load Planner page with one important difference. If you're adding a load for the first time, you'll be provided with a guided tour of the Load Planner page. This tour highlights important data entry points of the page and provides additional explanation to help you build a planned load quickly and easily. If you click through your tour and need to access the information again, you can restart your tour here at any time. And if you'd prefer, a comprehensive user guide is available here, which provides a thorough breakdown of how to create a planned load. Now it's time to build and add your planned load, so let's review the Load Planner page. This is where you'll enter the details of your load. As you scroll through the page, you'll notice that some of the data fields are marked with an asterisk. This means that these fields are required, and they must be completed before your load can be assigned to a trip. Data fields without an asterisk are not required. And although it's recommended that these fields be completed, they can be left blank. Back at the top of the page are the basic details. Here is where you'll enter the customer name or a custom load number if you have one. If you're working with a new customer or if you're adding a load for the first time, you'll need to create a customer. By doing this, you're creating a new entry in your online address book. Fill in as much as you can and save your new customer. And now, anytime you do business with that customer on future loads, the information will auto-fill from your address book. So you'll only need to input that information the first time. Next is the stops information. If you're working with a new shipper or consignee, or if you're adding that first load, you'll repeat the steps you took to create a customer. Add the required information and as much other detail as you can. Create a new entry into your address book, and the information will autofill any time you do business with them again. And if needed, there is also an option here to add another pickup onto your planned load. Then we have fees and charges. Here is where you'll input any known costs associated with the load, which is helpful when invoices are generated later in the process. Remember to save your information, and you're all finished. Congratulations, and well done! You've just created and added a load, and now it's ready to be assigned to a trip.